religion largely relies on authority. It may be the authority of sacred texts, as in Sunni Islam and Protestant Christianity, or texts together with religious leaders who are divinely uh, inspired to interpret them, like Shiite Islam and Roman Catholicism. Uh, we don't have anything like that in the world of science. I, and I want to make a clear distinction. We do have heroes, as scientists we have enormous respect for, but they're not authorities to whom we go for solution of scientific problems. For example, in my field, certainly Einstein is the greatest hero of the 20th century. But no one today arguing about the theory of gravitation would settle the issue by referring back to Einstein's papers of 1915-1916. Uh, today, it's understood that any reasonably good graduate student understands general relativity better than Einstein did. We have learned, we have progressed, and we, so in science we don't have prophets. We have heroes, but not prophets. So what do we, what do, we do about this conflict? Um, there are those uh, whose views about religion are not very different from my own, but who nevertheless feel that we should try to damp down the conflict, that we should compromise it, uh, for example, Steve Gould and uh, Larry Krauss feel that it's most important to maintain the integrity of scientific teaching. We should try to enlist the mainline religions who are often perfectly uh, comfortable with teaching Darwinism, say, in school, as our allies uh, and not step on their toes by talking about a confrontation between science and religion. I, I respect their views, uh, but I'm not having it. To me, the conflict for, between science and religion is more important than these issues of science education or even environmentalism. I think um, the world needs to wake up from its long nightmare of religious belief. And uh, anything that we scientists can do to weaken the hold of religion uh, should be done and may in fact in the end be our greatest contribution to civilization.